Evil Dead Rise. Welcome to my spoiler-free review of Evil Dead Rise. Mom? Mommy's with the maggots now. Written and directed by Lee Cronin, a name I personally haven't heard of, but he did a fantastic job with this movie. This whole film takes place in a downtown LA apartment complex, and it's very run down. The apartment is being sold, or I guess it's getting knocked down or something, and the residents only have like a month to live there. And the, the family that we follow, they are a very poor, low-income family. Everyone in the family is very artistic. And then there's the ants, and they're all struggling to fight off the demons the Deadites, or I guess the Kendarian Demon. You see it flying a lot in all the movies, and I've always taken inspiration from that to fly FPV drones. I mean, just the way it flies, it looks exactly what the Kendarian Demon sees from its first-person perspective. And the movie does something interesting with that. I won't spoil it, but a lot of FPV fans will be very happy with the beginning of this movie. This evil creates terror through total chaos. As far as I'm concerned with characters from Evil Dead, I feel like there's always that cartoonishly stupid character that deserves to die. You know, the one that reads from the book and unleashes the demon upon the world. You know, that guy. Uh, hey, the wind's picking up, the book is opening by itself. Oh, you're still reading. And in this movie, it, it's no different. The character is silly, it's goofy, and it doesn't really make sense why they would do what they did to one, obtain the book, and then two, read from it after a discussion they had around the book. What is this, Danny? And it's the setup for all these movies, they don't realistically make sense. But once you get into the movie, it's a lot of fun. And it's personally interesting to me to see how these characters react to what the Kandarian demon is saying to them. It's overall just a very unique premise. It's not just body horror. And of course, that's kind of like the major thing Evil Dead is known for. And this movie definitely has a lot of that. Trust me, this movie will make you cringe. It'll make you wince. It'll make your muscles tighten up. You have seen this plenty of times if you're an Evil Dead fan, but it also has those small moments I mentioned that really influence the film and kind of builds upon it and makes it even better than what it is at its core. These actors do so well playing these possessed demons and just the body language that they come off with on screen. It's mesmerizing. It, it's scary, but it's mesmerizing. Alyssa Sutherland, who plays the mom, Fantastic job. She does not let down with the body horror, with the scares, with the body language, the emotional chemistry with her and her family. Don't let her take my babies. It's all there. It's all at the forefront of the screen and it does not at all disappoint. I think the audiences are going to love the emotional ties between the characters, despite some of the kids being kids. As far as everyone else in the apartment unit goes, they don't really serve much of a purpose either. All the neighbors, they're just kind of there to be bodies to die. But it didn't feel Evil Dead, which yeah, it, it's unfortunate for an Evil Dead movie to have disappointing deaths, but none of the characters were also built up, so I don't really see the point. If anything, I think this movie should have been a little bit longer, maybe one or two, maybe even three more scenes to establish the family unit even more, and I believe that would have fixed the dopish nature of one of the kids, especially the one who finds the book and brings it back home and reads from it, because there's a reason behind it that gets explained later in the movie, but when it's actually happening, you don't really comprehend why this dude is doing what he's doing. Now, as far as the filmmaking process goes, I thought the camera work in this movie was really interesting. I think that they did a lot to really flesh out the film and how it worked. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back over here. Some of the shots were actually very artistic and they were very compelling to look at. And I'm like, this is from an Evil Dead movie? That's very interesting considering like the first three Evil Dead movies and the camera work on those films were very just, Blech. Something I noticed throughout the film was the makeup work mixed with the color grading of the film. That's something I don't really mention a lot in my movie reviews, but the color grading really enhanced the, the makeup that they used, the prosthetics that they used on these characters, on these actors. It was magnificent to see some body horror with like actual uh, prosthetics uh, like glued onto these actors. I love seeing that. I love seeing filmmaking at its finest, not just relying on computer graphics. And not only that, the color grading as well, it just made those effects pop. For instance, there's a scene in the movie where the mom is laying in bed. She doesn't look too well. And the camera work, it makes her body look gray and dull and lifeless. And then the prosthetics just kind of like make up all that glued on her face. It literally looks like the creepiest thing I've ever seen. I can't believe I'm never gonna speak. 
all of the makeup applied to her and then the effects and then the color grading on top of that, just it all really meshed well together to make the visuals pop off. I went in for an Evil Dead movie and I came out with an Evil Dead movie. Yeah, there were some components of the film that didn't really match my expectations, but whenever it missed those notes, it made up for it elsewhere in the film. And that's something I really appreciated is that the movie still tried to do some really magnificent things that you haven't seen in the past Evil Dead movies. And I really appreciate that, especially since I guess at this point, we're not getting an Evil Dead movie for another 10 years. So I'll see you guys in 2033. I have really missed Evil Dead, especially since the game flopped. I just I just need some Evil Dead in my life because it's honestly one of my favorite horror franchises because it's just an amalgamation of body horror and demons and just a lot of interesting things that at at a at surface level don't interest me, but when put into the Evil Dead universe with all the lore added, I am invested and I want to see more. Maybe I'll give the TV show another shot. Hail to the king, baby. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie for what it was, and I want to know what you guys think of it. So if you guys have seen the movie, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys are new here, hit subscribe. We talk about movies every single week. We also have a lot of other movie reviews currently on the channel. We're talking about them in the future as well. They're ongoing. So if you guys want to subscribe, stay around, watch some movie reviews. We're always here to talk about movies and play video games from time to time. So check it out. With all the YouTube dragon out of the way, my name's Austin, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. What will